Welcome everyone to this unique vlog. This is at the Dusseldorf airport where we are coming from the World Rapid Team Championship. There is a fan who is taking a picture with Vidit but look at the happiness on his face. I want to say a big thank you to Zaid and his wife for inviting me to their home in Dusseldorf so that I could use their Wi-Fi to upload the pictures and videos of the tournament. As we reached Kolkata, I said goodbye to my two good friends Gukesh and Vidit because they had to prepare for the Asian Games and play at Tata Steel Chess India. Here Srinath, Hari Krishna and Harika. I went outside the airport and I met my friends from Chess Base India. My teammates, we went for a lunch and then to the home of a big big chess lover. Who is it? Well, it's none other than I am Nisha Mohota. Nisha is an amazing person and she was so welcoming as we went down the memory lane with her and she showed us some amazing pictures. We then went to the Garihat flyover where I played against this amazing gentleman there. It's an it's a place where right in the middle of the city we have chess. We met Surya Ganguly, we saw his trophy cabinet. Check out the video on Chess Base India. I then flew down on the same evening to Guwahati in Assam and there at the airport was Mayank and his mother. Mayank Chakrabarti is a very, very talented youngster, around 23.50 rated. He's just 13 years old. He, they came to pick me up at the airport. I went to their home and saw his trophies, some amazing collection there. His mother had cooked some brilliant food. Monomita is a wonderful chef she had made chana and paneer and sweets and whatnot. I had a brilliant meal talking with them about their chess journey and so much more. We then went to meet Swapnil Tembe. He's the person because of whom I came to this trip for in the Northeast. That's Mayank with Swapnil and Swapnil is an IAS officer. He has done some amazing work and I'm going to show you what he has done for chess. Next day morning, we left to go to Meghalaya from uh, Guwahati and uh, in the car, we went through this very green forest. <laughs> we took a break where we ate something really, really nicely made. The aloo parathas that were made here and look at that. Oh, lot of oil, but so tasty, so tasty. We went to, we were going towards Tura, which is in the Garo Hills area. And this hilly region is so beautiful actually to go to. There's greenery all around. And there you can see the Garo Hills is in Meghalaya, very close to the border of Bangladesh. The population of Garo Hills is roughly around a million people. And we were going to the district of Tura inside it, where there were only 1 lakh people, which is very interesting because I, where I live, uh, the population is so much more. But there is no greenery like this. And we, we stayed at the Grace Homestay. And just right outside, if I looked outside the window, just have a look at the greenery. Oh my goodness. It felt like I was in heaven there. And this is the living room of the Grace Homestay where we are going to stay for the next two days. If you are going to Tura, you may want to consider going here. It's a wonderful place. And this is my room. Already we just arrived and I had already messed it up totally. That's what I do. Then we went to a place where a chess tournament was being held, where I was going to give a simul and a workshop. And they were very very excited to have me there and here you can see close to 40 to 50 kids were there playing chess and very very focused there were clocks there and it was a wonderfully organized event i then did a simul with some of the top players of tura district um, five of them four of them were rated out of that and silkum the highest rated player gave me a very tough time and in the end that game ended in a draw which meant I scored four and a half out of five. Here's a small uh, quick time lapse of the simul. 
uh, notice on the top board i actually executed a beautiful queen sacrifice uh, because king takes h7 would have led to h takes g6 checkmate there um, which was done in the end two people were playing and giving me a tough fight uh, and just then one was left and silkum managed to hold a draw in that rook end game where i tried very hard but i couldn't win i also recorded a few games of some of the players there who were playing very confidently and very quick chess prizes were given the first place was 5000 rupees and six prizes were handed over to the kids and then i did the workshop where i taught them some of the basics of chess we then went to the dc park one of the reasons why i was here in tura because i wanted to see this park it's a chess park that is developed by swapnil tembe who is an ias officer when he was the district collector here he actually um, decided to make this into a chess park and installed holdings i love chess banner um, also 20 tables and chairs uh, which is which makes this park truly special you know when you enter it's just like another park there are trees there's greenery there's the slide but when you go near you will see such banners like chess is the gymnasium of the mind there's also the pawns are the soul of chess by philidor then you have another like the, here's a table you can just sit and play Gary Kasparov says the ability to adapt is critical to chess. Viktor Korchnoi scored there. Then you have Vishy Anand of course who has perhaps the biggest banner here in the uh, park and the boards are very thoughtfully made because it rains very heavily in Meghalaya. So it's made up of acrylic material which means that even if there's rain nothing really happens to them. And close to 20 such tables and chairs uh, sort of benches have been put up where people can sit and play any time of the week at any time of the day when the park is open and just behind you can see it's so beautiful so all the people so came here we are in meghalaya so uh, i was a dc here earlier so we started here and swapnil's idea is to do this in all the 12 districts of meghalaya which will truly make it a unique chess loving state We sat down with the president of Meghalaya Chess Association and other members to discuss what could be done better to improve the chess scene in Meghalaya and then we went back home where wonderful food was waiting for us this was actually the lunch which we ate around 6:30 pm or so uh, it was very very tasty food is just outstanding in Meghalaya then some of the talented kids came to the homestay where we discussed chess and some king and pawn end game i really enjoyed myself with them and in the evening there was music how can there not be music when you are in meghalaya <laughs> traditional garo song thank you we had a wonderful time there i hope you all enjoyed a lot next day morning we woke up and i went to meet the chief minister of meghalaya along with swapnil we discussed about the possibilities of chess the chief minister said if a proper plan is drawn up he would be happy to support which was very very encouraging we then went to one of the big schools in the area it was called the casarina school public school there and i really enjoyed how this little kid welcomed us good morning sir good morning welcome to casarina public school <laughs> <laughs> and you know i was sitting there and i remembered my days of school when there would be a chief guest and i would be one of the kids there standing in the sun and uh, they welcomed us with beautiful traditional garo music uh, what i really enjoyed is the school anthem which comes up next
some of the younger kids went away uh, back to their classroom and then the older kids came in to whom i gave the chess lecture uh, you can see them filled with so much energy there so many possibilities this is the chess lecture that, that i was giving and cannot even calculate because imagine if i on the first move itself i can move this pawn ahead i can move this knight ahead i can move this pawn i have so many choices right and i have to choose one it's like when you go up, what is this the world map the world map, the world map. Yes. okay where is india somewhere here the kids were actually quite alert and involved i told them the story of vishy anand and also the history of chess they all sat down quietly and were enjoying themselves i had a wonderful time with them because you know you always enjoy when the kids are engaged there then everyone came with bits of paper in order to take my autograph i think i maybe signed around 70 or 80 such little sheets which was so so nice to see that they love chess so much then i spoke to the senior players of tura district and told them about you know how they could start coaching and then i was on my way back to guwahati on the way back i interviewed swapnil and there's a very nice interview on the channel you should check it out it speaks about how an ias officer works it was already late in the night when we reached back home uh, to guwahati but it was a wonderful wonderful two day trip filled with so many things we did at night i met my friend and teammate the current asian chess boxing champion nongsha and we also worked on the plan that we had to give to the chief minister swapnil woke up at 4 am to see say goodbye to me and i was on my way back to mumbai and i leave you with this wonderful scene of clouds Meghalaya means the abode of clouds.